Hi, this is David Webb, the President and CEO of the Funk Music Hall of Fame and Exhibition Center. I'm here at Fish University with the great, world famous Nikki Giovanni. Hi, Nikki, how are you? I'm fine. May, may I call you Nikki? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nikki, tell me, tell us, tell us, what, what, what are you, what are you here today, and what are you doing today? Well, we're here for the Fisk Art Festival, which, ironically enough, uh, Fisk has always had an art festival, you know, from the beginning, but it went into disarray. John Oliver Killings, the writer in residence, he said we need to revise it, and so. And I was in school here then, I was a, a, a senior then. And we had Harry Belafonte, Sidney Poitier came, uh, Imam Baraka, it was Leroy Jones then, Bob Hayden, who first started here. And the art exhibit was by Aaron Douglas. So it was so, uh, and Mr. Bontop, I'm sorry, I forgot Mr. Bontop. So it was really wonderful to have it back. And we've been doing it, Fisk has been doing the arts festival ever since. It's an important part of what it is that uh, Fisk as a liberal arts university stands for. Yes, yes. I, like I said, just standing here, I might be a little starstruck. So just, <laughs> just forgive me. Uh, tell us a little about where are you originally from, so everybody know. I'm originally I'm a Knoxvilleian by birth, a Tennessean by birth. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I was an early infant. Uh, the old days, Fisk used to have the, um, well, the Ford Foundation had the early infant program, and so there was a class of us. There were a whole bunch of people that I think there were maybe ten of us who were early early entrants but simply that we were coming from our sophomore and junior year in high school into into college. It was a good program too because I'm, I'm not a fan of high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay now some some of the new people who want to come to Fisk University, what can you tell them about this university to get them to come? I don't know if I would use any of those terms. I think that, that Fisk offers an incredibly good liberal arts education. And I think if you're not interested in that, you know, if you're going to be a great football player, I wouldn't recommend this. If you want to be a great basketball, you know, but if you can sing, yes. the Jubilee Singers are the voice of America. They're that in, in uh, 1872, uh, when Fisk was bankrupt, it was Ella Shepard and eight of her fellow students who went out and, and sang the Negro spirituals, which brought their attention of, of Queen uh, Victoria, who awarded them, you know, they obviously gave, but they earned that money, who, who awarded the Jubilee singers 50,000 pounds, and they built Jubilee Hall from that, not to mention Talladega and a few other of the American Missionary Societies. So if Fisk had all of the money that Fisk has raised throughout the years, we would be rich. But Fisk has been very generous. We were generous with Meharry, and of course, if we had not given that land to Meharry, we would not have Meharry. That's Fisk land, as you well know. We were generous to Pearl High School, and if we had not given the money to, uh, given the land to Nashville, so that we ultimately put the high school on Nashville, was not going to build a black high school. So these are all Fisk lands, thank God, and and we have a, a community here that is committed to to, to use a, a, a bad word to the uplift. Because no matter what we think, you have, you still have, you need an education. Yes. You, you need to not only learn to, to read and write in your basic sort of sense that those coming out of slavery did, but you need to contemplate what does this mean. You need a theology and you need a philosophy. Those are two different departments. Yes. Theology and, and, and philosophy are not the same because one is a belief and one is a question. But we here at Fisk University are a, have always been a, 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 an exceptional. Uh, liberal arts school, and no matter what we are being taught today, without the liberal arts, you know, and, and I'm, I'm a fan of, of airplanes and rockets, I'm, I'm a fan of space and things like that, but we have to remember that science comes out of poetry, poetry doesn't come out of science. It is the imagination, it is the, 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 the questions that we raise that science ends up answering, whether it's 20,000 leagues under the sea or, you know, from Earth to, to, to Mars. These are the questions that, that the liberal arts people raise. Okay, all right. I just want to get on camera so let people know that, yes, I'm in here with her. I am here with her. And thank you very much. Thank you. It's right, my you. pleasure. Bye-bye.